Aquarius, of course. All right. I will get into this. This is the second time in the two years I've had this channel that this has happened. But okay. Jingle bell, 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 bell. Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your December 2019 reading. I am Princess India. If you are new, if you are family, welcome back, my friends, for the 99 and the 2000 and whatnot or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, anywho, we're going to jump right into you guys' cards. We're going to ask Spirit to give us clear and direct guidance for my Aquarians and whatnot or whatever. For December 2019, anything of utmost most important spirit, I ask that that come to the forefront in this here reading. You know what I'm saying? So, anywho, let's go ahead and jump right in, my friend. All right. Uh, all right. So, central energy of which you guys are dealing with or where you're at for the month of December, Aquarius. We have the three of chalices and the reverse. It's a not a celebration. The challenge is the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh, what is going on? Okay, well, I'm going to say this. Here's the deal. I've been saying this for all signs. I always have to take into account that this is December. So a lot of the influences of this being December and it being holiday time. Oh, yeah. By the way, happy holidays. Happy Christmas, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Solstice, whatever it is you celebrate or if you don't celebrate anything at all. I'm festive, you know? I like holidays, I'm just saying. But you cannot celebrate holidays and I'm still gonna love your face. So my apologies if that's offensive. Anywho, but the thing that I'm seeing is here, I have to take into account any energies and stuff that are going on because this is Chrismica, Kwanzaa, whatever time, right? And how that influences people because family issues come to the forefront. If we're alone, that comes to the forefront. But I feel like for you all, this is a big thing, right? So with the three of cups in reverse, it's a level of disappointment that you guys are dealing with, or there could be a level of excess. You know what I'm saying? It could be a little drinky drinking going on, or you're just terrified to spend time with your family where there may be people that drink too much, right? But the thing that's important is here is um, I feel a level of uh, anxiety and worry, whether it's like apprehension of being around family, or it's just a feeling of, you know, not being where it is you desire to be or feeling as if you don't have enough money or, you know, just feeling, you know, by humbug about the season. The thing that's important is that you guys are, are conscientious of your emotions and feelings and that they don't sway too much to one side, whether your anxiety is heightening or, you know, depression is heightening it's making sure you guys aren't trying to escape any feelings that are coming to the forefront by either extremism or by trying to avoid them through drinking or partying too much or what have you. The past influence that you guys have is the three of swords and the reverse. Your underlying energy is the knight of pentacles. Your above energy is the magician. Well, that's reassuring. And going forward, whoa, you guys have the Seven of Swords. Ooh, okay. So here's the deal. <laughs> All right. So with the Three of Swords in the reverse, I feel there's some information. I mean, it could be a breakup. It could be um, jealousy you guys felt about other people or jealousy that people felt towards y'all where... Uh, there's a lack of being recognized or um, people feeling like you're being recognized and that could be like a family thing or it could just be in your environment. It could be a myriad of different things. For others of you, it could be um, an ending or some type of breakup, but the energy feels to me like maybe early November. It doesn't really feel very late uh, November it would be early November and going kind of back that way. You know what I mean? And I feel that whatever this is, if there's any unpleasant feelings you guys are feeling this month, I feel it's intricately related to that. And I do feel that this is a repeated pattern that you guys are being forewarned about. So y'all are the second sign to get a forewarning. With the magician being in you guys' conscious energy, 
It's saying that you have the power, the ability, the understanding, the know-how, the tools, the experience, the wisdom, and all that other kind of good stuff to be able to gain dominion over whatever this situation is, whether it be an internal struggle or an external struggle. Why the Seven of Swords is showing up in you guys' immediate future is that's where I'm seeing this as like a cyclical type of thing. So I always say with the Seven of Swords, we're talking about what you skip will trip you up later. With what it is that you guys are dealing with in the present energy, this is something that you skipped that's tripping you up later. So it may be some residual emotions or hurt or pain or disappointment that you felt about something that happened past tense. It doesn't matter if that's recent past or it's distant past, right? But there's residual energies that are coming up from that, right? That you guys are coping with now. You have an opportunity because you guys have the power to overcome this or deal with it once and for all. You have the ability to totally escape it. You know what I mean? You could feel all these emotions. You could deny them. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can choose to not cope with it. But what it's saying with the Seven of Swords going forward is that you are just going to deal with it again. And you will keep dealing with it again, right? Another thing that I'm seeing here is um, you can't solve a problem with the same mind that created it. So there's a need to take a different approach or a different perspective. Now, seeing the Knight of... Um, pentacles here this being your underlying influence is letting me know that the solution to whatever it is you guys are dealing with is going to require you to one get out of your headspace two to accept your power right or to accept the fact that you are in possession of this power or the belief that you can overcome whatever it is that you guys are coping with so it's more or less taking a stance of life is happening for you and not to you so you're not necessarily at the will of your circumstance, even though it's very, you know, tempting to believe that you are, you know what I'm saying? You have the ability to um, get uh, to overcome this. I don't want to say get over this, but to overcome this. However, it requires you to be in the present moment to face it, to accept this and do the work that is required, right, to heal between these two extremes, right? The root of this is lying in the midst of your emotions, but the solution, right, of how to heal this discord in so many words or to find clarity in this situation, it's going to be through very practical external action steps, right? Now, notice as I'm saying this, it sounds very, very broad and general. The reason why I'm being very broad and general is because I'm seeing this can manifest in a myriad of different ways. So it's not really so much of specific situational circumstances. The main elements that I see here, and oh, good Lord, this is something else. Oh. Okie dokie, lemon choky. Okay. <laughs> something else, <laughs> which is rather specific. <sighs> All right. I feel... All right, this is real. I say this is very general and specific and spirit literally hits me with something that's really specific and it's heavy. Okay, so, all right. There's a level of disappointment from a particular person, like the person I was talking about with the whole three of swords thing and y'all, you know, moving forward, past tense, whatever. And I feel this, is, this may be family oriented, but there is a level of, I don't know if it's somebody died and it's like uh, an inheritance type of thing. But what the message is for this, and this ain't for everybody, this is just a specific person that I'm talking to that somehow ended up here at this point. So I don't know if, I don't know how one would end up here. Okay, this is really funny. I love when this happens. Okay, so, all right. The person that this message is for, I don't really feel that they've watched the beginning part of this video. So I don't know if it's that they skipped forward, right? Like when the video came on that they skipped forward. I don't know if it's that they clicked. Um, I don't like X or it's a video shifted or something like if they accidentally happened. Mm. 
That's weird. I don't know who energy I'm tapping into, Lord Jesus. Oh, this is strange. Oh, Aquarius, of course. All right. I will get into this. This is the second time in the two years I've had this channel that this has happened. But okay. So I don't know if the person skipped forward. Or if like, you know, sometimes YouTube will glitch where you're watching a video and they accidentally happened upon this video. I don't know how it is, but they, it, whoever this is for, you did not watch the first part of the video for whatever reason, but you happened upon it at this time. Another key thing about this person is you have nosebleeds because I literally taste blood in my mouth right now. That's what just totally threw me off. The last time that this happened, I tasted a pulled pork sandwich weird i know but i taste blood in my mouth right now so this is either somebody who has nosebleeds or has like high blood pressure or i don't know it's a history in your family of people with nosebleeds or something or if something if this has something to do with like a death of a family member and like this whole inheritance thing that it's something about blood in the mouth or blood in the, the nose. It's something about, this is going crazy, but something about blood in like nose or mouth or something like that. Some type of damage to, to this part of the face. But I feel that there's something to do with some sort of theft or something in relation to this. So I don't know if this is a, a, a partner or if it's a parent. Um... That this is relating to God and the energy I'm feeling is so weird. I don't know if, if this has something to do with a partner or a parent that this is related to. But the whole thing is because this is giving me a very or if this is something you just need to get checked aside from that. But anyway, the whole point of, of why it is that I'm being told to say this is because it's it's either that. Whatever this loss has to do with past tense, it's like this whole theft thing or personal confidential information thing that has something to do with a family unit, whether that's husband, wife, kids, family, whatever. It's kind of like this is a heads up because I feel that however this is, whether it's a theft of money or... um documents or or something that it's something that belongs to you or someone that's related to a loss or yeah literally a loss that someone took and the reason why this is coming out is because it's already a level of hurt because of this right it's already a disappointment and a level of sadness because of this but this other thing would be like a double whammy so it's like putting salt in the wound, right? So the whole thing is now is if you guys are dealing with any type of unsettling emotions for whoever this is that I'm talking to, there's a need to look closer at some type of paperwork or documents. And I don't know what the heck that is. I'm really not a fan of this energy because... It's gone. That was a very metallic-y kind of blood and mouth taste thing I had going on here. But this this energy, it, it's very unsettling. But the thing that I can say is there's a need to look closer. And whoever this is for, because like I'm saying, y'all, this is not for everybody. But whoever this message is for... It's a need to look closer at some type of it's, it's documents or paperwork. And it's kind of like reading the fine print. There's a need to look deeper. And I feel what would hit you as the okie doke would be uncovered by you looking closer. So I feel what the whole thing is like where this magician energy is coming in, saying how you guys have power over the situation in so many words is more or less a need to empower oneself over your emotions right now because it's a level of extremes and worry and things of the sort and unrest and blah, blah, blah. But it's a need to gain dominion over that because it's a need to look closer at whatever this has anything to do with, but it's something dealing with papers. 
So I don't know if it's like a life insurance policy or a will or something like that, or if it's a, a, a person who is, uh, I don't know, like a person who's sick right now, like someone who's about to pass and a need to look into this prior to, it's something to do with that. But I don't know, this whole blood, nose, mouth thing, I don't know what that's about, but y'all let me know in the comments. But back to what I was saying um, in reference to you guys overall, like as, as the collective, the main thing that I'm seeing is here, um, like I was saying before, the whole thing, like what you skip will trip you up later, because I'm not really seeing the Seven of Swords for you guys as uh, for the rest of the Aquarius. I'm not really seeing the Seven of Swords as anything take being taken from the rest of you. I'm more or less seeing it as a mentality, right? So it's either for the, the major um, collective of Aquarius people, it's either that jealousy of other people or ruminating ruminating over things gone awry and allowing yourself to remain in emotional unrest right <clears throat> is what's kind of preventing you guys from getting to where it is that you desire to be in so many words so it's not necessarily that it's never going to happen for you but it's a need to gain dominion over your mindset because i feel that with the seven of swords it's like your joy is being robbed so it's like you're robbing yourself of stability and fulfillment and happiness, because even though you guys are doing the work that's necessary, it's your mindset that's your greatest enemy right now. But with the magician here, it's saying that you guys have power and dominion over your mental space. So the energy is there that's in service to you guys being successful. It's just a need for you guys to align with that in so many words. So to stop kind of beating yourself up in your head. Because I feel like um, it's a great deal of that that's going on. You know what I mean? Making things harder for yourself because it's a, um, a refusal to, to either accept a loss or to fully let something go. And whether that's a mindset, person, situation, circumstance, or what have you, right? It's really important that you guys focus on the power that you possess. Man, that message. That's interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, the three cards for the extended reading. So if you guys are about that extended life, pick card one, two, or three. And then after that, I'm going to pick um, a surrender card for you guys of what it is you need to release in the month of December. And then we're going to go ahead and throw out the dice. So if you're about that extended life, pick card one, two, or three. Even if you're not about that extended life, you can still pick a card and see what messages you guys gain from it, my friend. All right. If you picked card number one, we have control and you guys are group one. If you pick card number two, we have participation and you're group two. And if you pick card number three, we have rebirth and you are group three. So I'm going to go ahead and sit these to the side and we're going to pick you guys surrender card. That is so interesting. Literally since I've had this channel. That has only happened one other time where I tasted something in my mouth. And I mean, that hit me where I was like, oh my God, that's like blood taste. It's tasted metallic -y. That's so weird. Whoa. I want to pick another one just because that's my least favorite card in this deck. We have surrendered to the beauty of the natural world. And it says, take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. One thing I can say that's very important about that card is not just spending time in nature. That's something that's helpful to kind of help you clear your head and to ground your energy and to do a little bit of mindful walking. But another thing I say that's important to note here, wow, that's funny, is talking about uh, patterns and processes of nature. So looking at the seasons, looking at just the different miraculous um, intricacies of nature and garnering things about the process of how things grow and die and are reborn and so on and so forth, how we can apply lessons from nature to our life. The other card is surrender to wonder and awe. But that really is my least favorite card in the deck. But anyway, <laughs> open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. 
This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flu. That came out in Libra's extended for group three. But um, yeah, but surrendering to wonder and all, I always say that ends up becoming your beacon of light in the darkest times of your life. So that's very much in alignment with this magician energy. It's like, despite what your external circumstances are, if you're connected to your higher self as well as your higher power and understand how much, um, how much uh, empowerment that that gives you or extends to your experience, then no matter what it is that befalls your path, you can always overcome, right? Because that becomes your beacon of light in the darkness, right? Whew, this energy is heavy. So you guys can go ahead and ask a yes or no question with the dice of resonance. And we have Scorpio, we have Taurus, we have Venus, we have the X, and we have No. So Scorpio, Taurus, the X, Venus, and No. And we are going to throw the dice that have no name. That is so fascinating. That got extra heavy. All right, we have the number one. So funny. Because you guys major uh, arcana for the month from the Dice of Resonance is, since you have the number one, your major arcana to meditate on for this month is the Magician, which is all so you guys overall energy. Then we have North Node and we have Sagittarius. So let's see. So in the extended, we're going to go more in depth into a North Node and Sagittarius and get some messages from that. But for those of you who aren't following me over there, you could just Google it. You know what I'm saying? But anywho um let's see with north node it says and that has a lot to do with this ten of pentacles energy because with the north node we're talking about uh, a legacy that we leave behind you know what i'm saying and with the ten of pentacles in the reverse that's a card that's talking about legacy inheritance and things of the sort and you know our south node of course are things that we inherited from past life and then our north node are the things that uh we're mastering this life and leaving behind so to speak so that's a message from somebody I'm just saying. Anywho, North Node, you're now learning something new about your destiny, where you are going, what you're developing, and what you will carry forward, your legacy. You know what I'm saying? So that's of utmost importance for you all. Now, for the number one, um, like I said, you guys, Major Arcana uh, to meditate on this month is The Magician, and it says, beginnings, the first cause, strength and self-reliance, opening and awakening the self personal identity, individuality, union, unity, two sides of the same coin. So what I feel for you all is any facets that you guys have of yourself, I feel you guys are going to be um, unifying those pieces of yourself or anything in your life that kind of feels off kilter or unbalanced. I really feel with this Knight of Pentacles energy is how you guys are going to marry those two extremes to create your pathway forward. But First, you have to step into your power, my friend. So anywho, Aquarius, that has been your reading. I'm going over to Vimeo. If you're about that life, follow me over there. But if not, still love your freaking face. And I will see you guys sooner than later. Deuces. I feel that if you guys feel like you can't overcome this on your own, I think reaching out to someone for wise counsel, whether that's a therapist, an attorney, or whatever, would be wise. I don't like how this energy feels. It, it, it just... I don't know. I don't like how it feels, but the thing that I have to stress is not to, to be afraid. But for my group one people, I feel for y'all, it's like, it's being too rigid. And I feel a little bit of obsessive thoughts with y'all. So when we talk about all this energy that we're seeing, I feel for y'all, it's a great deal of worst case scenario. So now for my group two people, for my group two people, I feel with you guys that there's a need to um, allow help. It's allow people to help you. So I feel that there are people around group two people that are good at the same things that you're good in or good in different areas. Group three people. But the thing that's important for y'all to note is that... Um, it's temporary. So like a lot of the heavy energy that I was feeling over here, I feel a lot of that with my group three people. And I would look at my group ones and my group threes as like two sides of the same coin. Oh God, this is a disaster.